ame claim kwamba yuko na pesa vibaya sana oh, mzee buga mzee buga anasema miaka 650 anaitwa carry the don unamjua huyo okay mwenye enye najua ni number plate ya gari yeah. isile mse ke yeah. RG simujio au yeye ona jana anafanya ke, nini RG kwako ni number plate au number plate na ni mse sana ke RG is a very old number plate my yeah. friend ah testing 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 one time ah, ah basi dugu brother wapenzi watazamaji <laughs> ukicheki <laughs> Tuko upande wa kaskazini magharibi kusini mwa mashariki Miami Florida shasha enda po ni nyakti na ambazo basi sungura alikuwa na maya pembe wakati na ambapo ndovu hakuwa na makamasi Aka basi tumekuja kupatana na mzee mzima. <laughs> tolea 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 tolea. Yes. Utaniharibu na hii Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> tumekuja uh, me Florida my brother. We just landed. My name flani ya kitajiri tajiri. Miami we have just landed. <laughs> this is Europe. Yes this is Europe. We have come here courtesy uh, kuweza kupiga story na one man ambaye tumemuona kwenye mtandao akatushtua sana. Anasaidia watu sana. Yes sana watu Christmas sisi tulikuwa tu tumekaa tuko kule ushago tunapiga mambo yetu but ukiingia kwa mtandao unaona ai bloggers wanaandika mambo mingi sana mm. kumhusu ujamaa na pale tuko ghafla tuko nini ghafla ameingia mpasho BNN yani mambo ni mingi and today tukamwa we look for this man because watu wana trend ndio shughuli yetu si ndio nipigile ya kulikwepo na jamaa ambaye sasa mm. ah kulikwepo na Jama... Jangiri. Ya, jangiri. Ah, usi jangiri utachoma. Kulikuwa na jamaa ambaye asijui <laughs> nini nini. Yeah. Yes, gathana. Right. Afro. Gathana pale huko kulikuwa na mchizi fulani. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Jamaa ametulia pale kabisa kabisa mzee. Yuko busy, yuko busy. Unajua mm. simu si za kikawaida, si tule tu simu tetu tumezoea. Mm. Twako, twako. Twako. Eh, twako ni tule pale tule tu ni tu eh, ni simu ya kitajiri eh. angalia ina vio pande zote mbili eh, ni ya kufungua piga mewani pale expensive niliona kwa collection ni mewani na valiwa na watu wanaajaa kwa ile magazine ya inaitangwa je Forbes <laughs> okay sorry ka chini habari <laughs> habari ya mudosi kwa salamu bwana uko vizuri mambo vipi eh. karibu Eh hey, karibuni bwana. Asante. Eh hey, mkwaje? Huyu anaitwa commentator. The commentator. Yes sir. Eh hey, karibuni Runda bwana. Hajai tembea mahali kama hapa. Yeah. Kwa nini? Yeah. <laughs> Runda. Yeah. Karibuni Ma, sana bwana. Miami, unajua unajua ni Miami. Alimeanza kuchoma man. Na tupeana manzi na sasa tumeambia madem zetu tuko Miami sasa hatujarudi siku mbili. Karibuni karibuni lakini I'm happy to to see you guys. Asante asante. Mzee mzima eh mzee Moses. Yes. Moses Mwenda. Unajua mimi nilikuwa nadhani ni Mwendwa. Nikajua sasa ni mzee wa home. Huko ni ni lakini nikasikia hiyo akatoa hiyo W sasa akabaki Mwenda. Lakini Mwenda bado no mondo wenda zindo zizi zindo zizi ndo zizi fine yani na nokuigwa eke eke mane de chama vote na Moses Mwenda. Ate abere ate de muna hiyo ni nini na kuanga for the for information so many people mistake me with Akamba because of the probably accent yeah. and also the name eh? yeah. but uh, me i'm from meru yes. tigania east actually tigania. Uh, and uh, full names are moses mwenda mm. yes mm -hmm. nickname ni junior lakini ukai junior kuna watu tu walikuwa <laughs> senior bana watu walikuwa wanapenda kumniita hivyo yeah. but uh, mimi naitwa moses mwenda mm. Those are my official names. Mm. Uh, na mimi nimetoka Meru, Tigania mm. East. Mm. Uh, Tigania East. Mm -hmm. uh, MP wangu ni Mporo Waburi. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. governor ni Kawira Mwangasa. Mm. Uh, but most of the people usually mistake me with the, from Kamba, mm. coming from Kamba. Mm. Yes. Perfect. Moses Mwenda, your story imekimbia sana pale online unasaidia watu huko na magari mingi. Sijiwe ni mwanasiasa, mambo mengi sana. Let's do a background check kidogo. Wewe ni nani? Okay, uh, mimi what I can say is that uh, as you've heard my name is uh, Moses Mwenda. Mm -hmm. Na mimi ni mwanabiashara na pia actively engaged in politics uh, because of uh, I started in politics way back in college. Nikiwa Mount Kenya University mm -hmm. where I was a student leader. Mm -hmm came back to Jomo Kenyatta University mm. as a student leader. Mm. So, uh, Mimi, I started politics way back. Mm. But uh, 
mimi sana sana pia ni mwanabiashara currently of course uh, we are working closely with the government of uh, our current president uh, William Ruto but uh, pia tunafanya biashara am we real estate and also manufacturing yes mzee mzima cha mimi nikuite mose yes mose 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 unajali fanya mambo kubwa kwa hii dunia sana. Ule Mose najua aliokuwa wana Israeli akawapitisha pale. Ilikuwa mto gani mzee? Ilikuwa which river? Red Sea. Haikuwa mto. So naona ni kama umefuata jina yako vile inamaanisha because Moses alikuwa mse wa kukomboa watu. E, tuliona pale hivyo 25th Christmas watu wa kitravel ushago si tukienda huko kuona wazazi uliamua and of course najua kwa na familia but uliamua ku spend time na the less uh, fortunate people in the community ukaamua kwenda kule hivyo mitaani kusaidia watu and of course it's not the first time because bado hadi during the 2019 hii mambo ya covid pia uh, uliweza pia ku trend because pia ulikuwa unasaidia watu Eh maybe tu nikuulize mzee Moses. Eh nini nini na kusukumanga kufanya what you are doing to the giving back to the society. Okay, what I can say is that uh, the reason why I, I really feel like touching people is because I really understand what it means lacking. Mm. Lacking especially the necessities mm. like food. Mm. I really understand. I have experienced uh, that. So I know what lacks means kukosa chakula what it means walking with an empty stomach i really understand what it means and therefore mimi kusaidia it is because i have come from that uh, environment so i really understand what those people are feeling that's why mimi uh, usaidia and most of uh, mostly i don't help because i have i'm rich or i have a lot everybody can be able to help one another mimi na saindianga kwa sababu najua mali nimetoka mimi i come from very humble background in meru where uh, people believes that even before mtu akupatie kiatu lazima ikuwe ndogo <laughs> eh where nimeenda shule bila chakula nimesoma bila viatu nimechangiwa ndio tusome so i really understand what lacks means and therefore mimi it's a, it's, a, it's a spirit that i have and also how i've been taught by my late dad and also my mom so giving you know uh, i'm one man who believes in sharing the little i have with the people who need it most yeah okay perfect just come me sema ulienda kusaidia watu siku ya christmas maybe unaweza tu highlight here place zenye ulienda ulipeana nini aswa because what we saw ni vitu zikitolewa kwa nyuma ya gari ma V8 nini i think uh, this is not the first time mimi nimesaidia especially the street kids uh, i've gone to children's home nimesaidia slums several times but hii ni ile sasa mmeona kwa sababu tulienda i hand uh, five groups and uh, Mwenda Foundation I have a foundation called uh, Mwenda Foundation nilianza 206 actually when I was uh, at the university na tumekuwa tukisaidia but uh, on 23 and 24th ndio tulifanya uh, tulifanya donations eh? where nilipatia na Madhare Slums wengine kuna timu ilikuwa uh, pale uh, Chundwenzo home na tukaenda pia Nairobi town Nairobi city uh, Chundwenzo uh, street families to try and find them also Yeah, hiyo ndio tulifanya on 23rd and 24th mm-hmm. night. Yes. Mwenda eh, talking vile na kusikia tu ukiongea inaka umepiga shughuli sana. But pia nasikia unasema unasaidia watu na kidogo chenye uko nacho. Lakini tukiangalia mzee tumeingia sasa hizi parking. Ah. <laughs> Igari liona na nini nayo recross pale kipiga show juzi alikuwa ametu invite lakini tulikuwa busy mzee tunakumbuka na mm. usiniangushe bana <laughs> sasa hizi magari unatembea nazo si mm. unaelewa like si si tudu si tudu si tudu tumi si tumnyama ni mnyama unaona sasa eh, maybe for example unaweza tuguzia eh, kwa hii foundation yako so far e christmas suit hiyo 25th peke yake mzee uliingia kwa mfuko ukatoa kama ngapi hivi kaamua sasa hii wacha tutukule na watu okay uh... mm. I think the total amount of money that we used because mm. also I engaged a few of my friends mm. there are a few of my friends who sent me some money mm. tulitumia 3.5 million mm. uh, on two days mm. that's because uh, ilienda live actually in, uh, in my social media platforms mm. my facebook ilikuwa live 
personally, I just give 1.5 million. Okay. The rest came from friends. I mm -hmm. created a WhatsApp group for my friends. Mm -hmm. It was a 100,000 challenge mm -hmm. friendship. Eh? Yeah. Uh, people like uh, Jaguar uh, gave me 100,000. I have uh, people uh, like Mike Sonko also send me 100,000. It was friends, so I let a challenge a 100,000 each mm -hmm. to my friends mm -hmm. for donation. Then I give 1.5 million so in total it was 3.5 uh, million there are other people mm -hmm. uh, Pia when you only come through like Brian mm -hmm. and uh, other people I end 20 20 in number friends mm -hmm. now what the killer mtu really mm -hmm. condition Mm -hmm. Because if you are my friend, mm -hmm. I just need a hundred thousand mm -hmm. from your pocket mm -hmm. for donation. Mm -hmm. Then I donated personally from my pocket 1.5 million. Mm -hmm. So in total, it was 3.5 million. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, perfect. Okay, angalia kwa zile comments pale online watu nasema watu wakisaidia wa wajionyeshani. I mean wanakuuliza mbona una post sana ukisaidia watu. Actually this is not the first uh, the uh, donation I have done and posted. Mostly I post to encourage someone mm. to prove to people how they are that you don't need to be a billionaire for you to be able to help one another. Mm. Again, I also post mm -hmm. for people how they are to know that there are people who are in need. Mm -hmm. Especially, kama nikiwa kwa street, I remember kuna mama nilipatia mkate mm -hmm. kwa street mkate na masiwa. <coughs> Uyo mama alishend tears kwa sababu aliniambia alikuwa aende alale nja and remember this kind uh, this uh, woman and a small kind amebeba mtoto mdogo so sometimes we don't do it for show off no we do it to encourage someone out there that you can share what you have the little that you have and also to prove to people there are people suffering a lot we may think that we are suffering out there there are people without food my brother so also we do that to, to, to showcase out there that you can come with the little that you have and share. And also, uh, I have told you, people give me money. You know, my friends, the 20 friends who donated 100-ish, mm. they need to see what uh, their money did. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Labda eh nikuulize Mose kuna mtu maybe anaweza unajua <coughs> kwa East Industry tumeona watu mostly wamekuwa kufanya donations wanafanya ngakiwa na ambitions something maybe eh, anataka kufanya hivi asaidike asaidike hivi eh, be a cross atulia bana. Eh, kuna mtu anafanya akitaka maybe asaidike in this way. Maybe wewe eh, what do you say like eh, What's your ambition? Maybe are you doing this behind something? Or are you just doing this because you feel like you need to share with the community, you need to give back to the society? Personally, I'm doing it with my heart to touch the community or giving back to my community. Mali Mungu wa mentor, I think I need to give thanks to God. And the way to give thanks to God is by actually touching one another. Because yeah. mimi Mungu wa mentor India ni kakuwa mali niko. So I always feel I need to extend my hand mm -hmm. to somebody else who needs uh, my hand. Mm -hmm. But uh, I always feel in a better position, I would be able to help. Like mm -hmm. for instance, mm -hmm. Tukiwa Nairobi uh, uh, City Apos in b &D, mm -hmm. we have lenders. Mm -hmm. But all the lenders were busy with their families. They mm -hmm. forgot mm -hmm. there are those street people uh, who really need their support. Uh, and they are part of their voters. Mm -hmm. the, these are the same people voting for them. Mm -hmm. So for me, if being in a better position to be able to serve mm -hmm. the community and my country mm -hmm. it needs be, then Probably, I, I might enter into politics mm -hmm. later. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You might enter into politics later. So maybe I'm trying I'm to already in politics, uh, but uh, I'm playing just neutral politics. Mm -hmm. Supporting His Excellency the President. Mm -hmm. He's my friend, mm -hmm. and uh, I've really supported him mm -hmm. so much. In 2027, because... In, in, in Africa soon, siku, siku zina kimbia sana. Moses Mwenda nataka kusimama wapi? CSM ni wapi nataka kusimama. Kwa, kwa sababu I might create so many enemies mm -hmm. for now. It's very hard. Right now it's serving our people, helping our people and uh, giving back to the community. Then when time comes, I'll call you here. Hapa nyumbani. Ntawaita ni wambie, mimi sasa ni meamua eh, na simama. Yes, but in Tasimama, Kusimama and Tasimama, mm -hmm. but uh, Stag Kusema ni wapi right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. There is a time wakati Songkwa likuwa impeached. Uli trend sana, wataka kuingia Nairobi governor. 
bado hizo plans ziko nitakwambia <laughs> <laughs> tume, nitawaita nitawaambia mose tumekupata eh you know kuna <laughs> <laughs> kuna wameru wengi Nairobi Nairobi yeah. is a metropolitan yeah. na kuna all communities in Nairobi and I, I really know that uh, everybody is looking for Alinda so unaweza simama anywhere anywhere mimi i always believe na isas mama meru mali nimesaliwa na isas mama nairobi na isas mama ata ruisambu ni kwe mp huko hakuna mali si yes mama but nitawaita na nitawaambia because i don't want to uh, create enemies right now i don't want to to raise alarms right now because right now is serving our people yes mm-hmm. mm. kuna watu wengi sana hapa ije wako na pesa and of course uh, maybe Eh, fans wanawata kingi kwa comment section wana feel like eh hey, wewe uko na hii pesa but tunaona tu unaharibu kununua magari uweze ukasaidia watu ni na nini na nini na nini what you do like to tell them because wewe umesema mtu wa work na kidogo cha nyako nacho si lazima kuwe billionaire ndo give back to the community but kuna those many fans who feel like kuna for example kuna politicians kuna pia celebrities wenye they claim kwa mtandao wana boost wako na pesa but hawasaidii watu Okay uh, what i can see is that buying for yourself a big and expensive car mm-hmm. si shinda mm-hmm. because also at personal level you have to be happy mm-hmm. but also we say remember the people how they are who really means that because personally eh, kuenda ninunue kama hii iPhone 15 mm-hmm. ninunue mm-hmm. na nikose na kuna mtoto pale kwa street analala njaa na hii ni simu tu na hii ingine this mm-hmm. This is a phone worth around 250. Mm-hmm. When you check like the shoe I'm wearing is around uh, close to 1 uh, 350,000. Hiyo pesa inisaidia na ikanyangia tu chini. But what about if I go to the to the street and touch that kind with the money that I'm wearing mm-hmm. bit of it. I'm not of course I'm saying bit of it. Mm-hmm. So for me um, I, I I would encourage the people who are saying are rich, mm-hmm. the ones that you are saying they are rich mm-hmm. and everyone else mm-hmm. because uh, everybody is rich mm-hmm. at heart probably. Mm-hmm. So to go there and <laughs> help people touch one another. <laughs> so wale unasema wako rich mimi hao siwajui. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ah, ujui watu wako rich. Kenya. Young people. Yes, young people. Uh, the same age mates nina nini? Yes, yes, mm-hmm. I know a few of them. Mm-hmm. Yes. Unaweza tutajia mmoja, unajua. Eh, uh, young people. Mm. Na wajua but si poa kutaja watu. Yeah. You know I know some of them because uh, they are my friends they are in manufacturing like like who? Mm-hmm. Eh? Kama nani? Kama nani? Mwenye mnajua ama mm-hmm. lock eh? Yeah. Eh? Akuwe mgana siasa, akuwe celebrity any. Young people. Yes. Of course when we count young people who are very rich. Mm. Kuna watu there are people hata akina Njagua Njagua is your friends mm. Njagua you artist mm. he's a very rich guy mm. yeah. actually he's part of uh, people who give me money mm. yeah. he's, a, he's a rich person but Njagua is rich mm. Kuna watu wako rich eh? that's why nimesema stack kutaja mm. the people like for instance there are people in real estate mm. there are people in manufacturing who are very rich, uh, rich mm. but these people are very private eh? i don't want to expose them and start saying things unless wale mnajua ndio nasemea tu hawa vijana mnajua hawa mm-hmm. ringtone ako na pesa pia ringtone yeah. ringtone you artist yeah. mm-hmm. eh, mimi simujui at personal level yeah. Yeah. najua tu njina yake kuna wimbo wa shai imba nikaijua mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. kuna mzee fulani ambaye amesumbua sana mm-hmm. range rover kushoto kulia na ame claim kwamba yuko na pesa vibaya sana. Oh, mzee Buga. Mzee Buga anasema miaka 650 anaitwa KRG the Don. Unamjua huyo? K K R G. Ai simujui. Ah? Simujui. Acha mshaza. <laughs> <laughs> Ni mugani. Seriously, Kia, I don't know. Mbuga. Mbuga au jamaa amepiga mambo mingi sana kwa mtandao. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, the yes the latest Range Rover in town. In town autobiography ya masdi inaitwaje ako under what uh, sector ako kwa manufacturing ako kwa mm, real estate ako mining ni msanii ni msanii the only rich man the only ako kwa cooking ju mambo inachemka you see for you to be able to tell me somebody is uh, rich uh, lazima uniambie ako under what sector because there are those sectors that we know you can be a multi billion like ngoja like ki- mining uh, agriculture ngoja kidogo ngoja kidogo moses mm-hmm. tuanzie tu hapa haujui krg kabisa mimi simujui i saw i don't know krg krg and yes. letters krg mm. i really don't know who is mm. that yeah. ah. the 
mwenye najua ni namba plate ya gari yeah. isile mse yeah. KRG simujio au hiyo najua anafanya K- nini KRG kwako ni namba plate au namba plate na ni mse sana KRG is a very old number plate my yeah. friend eh yeah. <laughs> ukweli hiyo <isawa> simujui <laughs> unafanya nini mzee natafuta picha ya KRG eh umeonesha yeye anaonekana vizuri eh ujaniambia anafanya oi Which one? Katia mm. the Oh this guy, huyu ni warrior is a is a warrior. This is a content creator. I know him. He's called KRG. <laughs> the brown guy yeah. who works with uh, another guy with a round stomach, big stomach. Yeah. Huyu anaitwa KRG. Namjua is a content creator. Yeah. Yes. In town. Yeah. Is a content creator. Content creator? Yes, yes. The br- you are talking about the brown guy. Mm. Is the one you are calling KRG. Mm. Namujua is a content creator. Si ana tengeneza content. Mm. Is a content creator. Yes. Mm. Yes. I always see him uh, sometimes uh, taking big cars in the hand and uh, doing content with them for content creation. Mm. 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 What do I not know? <laughs> Unasema mbuga wewe unamjua kama content creator but seriously I saw but he's not but he's not a content creator what does he do biashara i guess Mwana, and I what sect, I just tell me yeah. ako in what sector i know people in real estate mm. i know people in mining mm. i know people in agriculture people who have made money in mm. uh, financial sector mm-hmm. so yeye yeah, anafanya nini ndio yeah. ako ako na ako na club <laughs> <laughs> My friend stop that bana. Yeah. At the club. Yeah. <laughs> Kone how much money club can don can 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 give you for you to be counted as a very rich, extremely rich club. We have so many clubs. Kama mimi niko na club, mm. does it make me rich? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Club. So, okay. You see you guys there is something you are doing a mistake, eh? mm. Sometimes there are people showcasing big cars. Mm but they are doing content that is part of content to them they go to yarns for to people uh, sell cars mm. then they take big cars mm. could drive to your content my brother mm. so you may mistake somebody and that's why you see these uh, uh, artists they end up in depression because what huko nje wanawachukua wakiwa very rich mm. but them they are doing content kama huyu unamuita unamuita k KRG Sasa kama huyo mtu anaweza umia leta sana kwa sababu sasa nyinyi you have pro- assumed that these guys are multi-billionaire mm. and th- this guy goes to the and takes a car they do content creation so wewe na wewe una assume yeye ako rich sasa ile anapata shinda utamsaidia mm. ukifikiria yeye ali misuse pesa mm. but these people sometimes they do content creation mm. for instance and also don't measure uh, cars as richness my brother there are people with big projects sasa kama sasa hii umeangalia mmekuja kwangu mm. ni magari sile gari mmeona pale parking mmeona gari gani na gani mm. eh i have Ridge Rover i have uh, Porsche Cayenne mm. i have Prando mm. i have sasa does it classify me as a rich person my brother mm. there are people with big projects mm-hmm. there are people doing big estates mm. there are people with manufacturing plants mm. big multi billion mm. There are people in the uh, financial sector but where's in Yambia because somebody is rolling with a car mm. akifanya content at a college hata wewe mm. unaweza kuja nikupatia gari yangu mm. eh utembee nayo hiyo ni content mm. right mm. Mm. so you just called KRG a content creator i saw he's a content me personally how i know him is a content <laughs> creator unless there is something i don't i don't know cuz now yeah. if you tell me somebody is rich mm. i must be able to know under what sector We are in real estate. Mm. I can tell you people in real estate mm. they make a lot of money. They we are in uh, there are people in uh, mining. Mm. There are people in uh, manufacturing. Mm. There are people in financial sector. Sasa ukiniambia mambo ya club mm. my brother you see uh, these are this unanichekesha kuniambia mtu anyway so what are to talk here kabisa to talk here kabisa to talk here kabisa i mean na uh, what is the next project you are doing kuhakikisha kwamba you still continue na your purpose ya to give back to the community uh, personally right now as we speak niko na watoto na so i have uh, seven kids right now na somesha that is part of my project and also my future plan is that uh, i want to i want mwenda foundation to be a very big real foundation not just to collect money from people mm. but a foundation that is touching people 
You understand? So niko, my future plans is that uh, nataka ku make sure that nimeanzisha children's home. Hiyo ni kitu nimeweka kwa plan. Then also nataka ku make sure that uh, education sector at least nimefika 50 kids wenye naweza kuwa mimi mwenyewe nikilipia school fees na that is my him. Right now kusema ukweli I have 7 kids na somesha but uh, tukisonga tu pole pole nitakuwa na 50 in number and also I'll have a children's home where I'll keep the kids without parents genuine kids who really need support yes sasa mzee labda mimi tukimalizia uko na ujumbe gani kwa watu ambao maybe ndio wamekusikia kwa mara ya kwanza sasa hivi maybe because niliona pia there's a time you ulisaidia my youth sana kupata kazi hapa na pale maybe kuna msee anakuona anashindwa how can mwenda foundation help me mimi nikiwa hapa mtaani na sina kitu ya kufanya maybe unaweza ukaambia nini Okay, one thing I want to do is that I want to encourage the young people. Mm. I want to tell them they are the future of this country. Mm. And uh, I know uh, we are now living under a very tough economic uh, season. Mm. But I can tell them uh, things are going to be better. Mm. But wherever you are, just hold it. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just do it mm. up to your best, expecting for better resort and better future but uh, tunaweza saindiana mm -hmm. at least tutaweza kusaindiana na wale ambao wako nashinda wale there are people who reach out to me and we really try as much as possible to help them mm -hmm. but me naweza ambia my youth mm -hmm. right now don't wait to be employed just employ yourself at whatever level even in content creation kama hiyo tunaongelelea just employ yourself mm -hmm. uh, if you have a phone employ yourself if uh, you are how there make sure usi usifuate makaratas my brother if i tell you mimi ile degree nimefanya trust you mimi sijai kulia mm -hmm. yes i'm doing something different mm -hmm. you understand so i would encourage them not to wait the government to come and employ them mm -hmm. Let them try to do something to employ themselves. Yes. Mm. Perfect. That I think to Mamaliza. Anafanya kazi nzuri eh. Watu watu waendelee kuenjoy maisha. Na for the seven kids ambao unawafunza that's really amazing. I wish ningewajua nataka kuenda campus pia mimi. Eh. A kid. Nimeenda college so nataka kuenda kufanya degree pale. Kuja, kuja tukae chini tupange. Eh unakuja tunakaa chini tunapanga. Eh na masomo haina inji my brother. Eh masomo haina inji kama sasa hivi mimi na nafanya masters. Si nilikwambia mimi right now nafanya masters. Eh perfect thank you so much uh, moses ama mkuje tena bwana hapa hapa ni nyumbani hapa mkuje tena na pia mnaweza nitembelea si lazima mkuje because mimi nimeenda kupeana donations yes. mnaweza kuja like friends tunakaa hapa environment mzuri runda hakuna maneno mingi lakini atupendi miami miami atupendi kusema at least we have a rich friend i guess me runda tuko miami na nimeambia na nimeambia huyu sasa akuje siku moja nimpatie Range Rover endeshe pia yeye akue kama KNG umemuita KNG kama huyo KNG KNG ama ni KRG huyo kama huyo KRG mkuje nikupatie thank you so much my brother i really appreciate i really appreciate you coming bro Yes. Thanks. Tumeshukuru sana. Tumeshukuru zaidi. Alright. Tumemaliza basi tuko kwenye mwisho mwisho wa sinema. Na huko ni Miami, Florida. Nyakati ya mwisho mwisho. Za usiku usiku. Imekuwa mwisho.